Hi, for the installation of Revit MQ, we need two dependencies. The first is the erlang slash OTP, so it is a must have dependency, and the Revit MQ. So, in later part, I'll show you the installation on Apple Silicon, but it will hold good for Intel Mac as well. For Windows as well, you need an erlang dependency and Revit MQ. So, let's get started. Hi. Today we will install RabbitMQ on Mac. So I'm having Apple Silicon. So, but this you can do in your Intel Mac as well. Okay. So what we need to do, I have Homebrew installed in my system because it makes my life very easy. So to install RabbitMQ, we just need to do reinstall RabbitMQ. So it will take some time and it will install. So the same, the same steps can be performed for Intel Mac as well. So it won't take much time. Okay. So what it does when we are installing through Homebrew, so it will set the path and everything for you Not to do anything. So it is much easier. So some people say that we should not use the home view because it hides a lot of things from us. It is nothing like that. So the end result is achieved and it is very quick and easy. Okay. So once it is done. I'll show you where you can find all the services and the path where it is installed okay i'll show you the location where you can find rabbit mq server scripts and cli tools so that you can get started and the most important thing yeah so it will install its main dependency erlang so it will install that as well for you so you don't have to install that explicitly so you can see here OPG Homebrew Seller. So this is actually the path where Apple Silicon stores all the properties and all the CLI tools and everything into the SB. So if you are using Apple Silicon, you can find your SB directory into opt slash homebrew slash SB. I'll show you in some time after one eternity later okay now it is done so where exactly it got stored i will just show you that and then i'll show you the shortcut as well after that okay i'll just clear it so you can go to user local server uh, one minute I'm using Apple Silicon okay so I have to do opt homebrew okay so there is a seller okay CLS seller so here is the ear line okay here is the rabbit and cute install okay Okay, so here you can find, and if you go inside RabbitMQ, you'll find the version. Okay, so this is the version I have installed. Now I'll show you the better way of doing this. You can just do drill in four RabbitMQ. Sorry, I am into actually. sudo mode I'll just do 
bring in the form. Yeah, it right here. So it will show you the part where it is installed and everything now. So suppose you have this part for your Apple silicon for Intel Mac, so the path will be slash user slash local slash seller slash rabbit and queue. So this will be your path for Intel Mac and no changes. Now, if you want to start the services, okay, so you can just do brew service services start rabbit and queue okay so now your uh, rabbit and queue is successfully started okay you don't have to go to sbin and check for the rabbit and queue server and everything you don't have to do all those things you have a shortcut you can use very well use it once you have installed uh, uh, once you have start once you have started rabbit and queue successfully you just need to go here and type localhost15672 so you'll be able to get your rabbit and queue ui so for by default guest guest will be the password so you can just log in and you should be able to see all the queues and uh, message and every information if you want to stop it you can just do this okay so that's it for this video thank you